Hi everybody, coming back with part two of our frequency class. Okay, so in the first part of the class, briefly, we covered the basics of frequency being that one, everything in the universe is a wave at a quantum physics level. Uh, number two, all waves vibrate at a certain frequency, and that frequency is a measurement of its God force, or a thumbprint of how much love or consciousness it's holding. And three, that the law of infinity states that like attracts like. Therefore, similar frequencies will attract similar frequencies. Okay, so now moving on to the second part of this, I wanted to go back and teach you how to discern the level of consciousness in a frequency. How do you do that? What we're talking here is truly new quantum physics because we're talking about the, the unification of consciousness and science, okay? In this case, we're going to apply it to math. I'm going to ask you from a level from 1 to 13 to measure how much love something has in it. <clears throat> Okay, if that sounds impossible, if it sounds insane, I want you to consider this may possibly be your sixth sense. Because what I'm talking about feeling is what you feel all the time. When you meet somebody or go into a room and you pick up that gut feeling that I like this person, or conversely, I don't like this person, or I don't like this place, what you're picking up and reacting to is its frequency. You're reading its frequency, and you're deciding if it's good for you or not good for you, and thus you're labeling it good or bad, okay? So what you're really picking up is how much of a love force that thing is holding, because when something holds a high vibratory frequency of love and divinity and laughter and nature it makes you happy to be around it that's that's part of the love affinity as you'll see and conversely when something is in a low frequency that we would maybe put a one label on okay just to you know just to be able to categorize things here right because we're talking about an infinite universe right and it's always changing that's what the whole double slit experiment was about it's all these infinite possibilities that really only come into reality if we focus on them which one of the main things you'll find out later is is your ability to focus is very important. We get scattered, we get our attention drawn away all the time to unimportant things, and now more than ever, as time seems to be speeding up, which is part of that heartbeat of the um, pulse of the earth I was talking about speeding up, because we're speeding up with it, we actually do have a feeling of time speeding up because we're moving more quick. Okay, so going back to discerning frequencies, how do we do that? Okay, so from a level from 1 to 13, let's just put up at 13, the unified whole, the united one, all of divinity, let's put that up as 13 and God, you know, the godliest divine feeling, the source, okay? And just for argument's sake, let's make one the lowest, the darkest, the evil, Lucifer, hate, okay, murder kind of frequency. This is the thing you'd find on that realm. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you is the best way to start using this, because like I said, we already use it, we already use it, but to fine tune it is what I'm asking you to do, because the reason I'm asking you to fine tune it is because you'll realize that in our lives we go into a lot of denial about what things are good for us and, and what things aren't, and ultimately those choices lead us into bringing uh, in other things into our life. So it's very important to actually grasp which frequencies you're allowing in your life and choosing to be in your life and in your thoughts and in your feelings. So a really simple way um, to do this is I would recommend in the next couple days until we come back to this to just start looking at things in your world in the form of frequency and measuring it in a feeling way. In other words, when you come upon that apple pie, how do you feel about it? From a 1 to 13, where do you put that in loving energy? Okay, that might not make sense at first. It will, and you'll start to be able to use this like a muscle. You'll get better at it. Uh, some things will be more obvious than others, you know, children laughing, you know, birds tweeting and singing, obviously very high frequencies, okay? And then there's other things like drinking perhaps okay so drinking will be uh, perhaps a nine or ten to somebody that enjoys a, a glass of wine or two at dinner however it might be more on an addiction level at a two if somebody's an alcoholic all right um, these are just kind of different um, 
the different kind of perspectives that go with judging frequencies. But for sure, almost always when I would enter this information into um, the lecture base, people would come back with very similar and in agreement over what was high frequency and what was low frequency. So uh, like I said, there's a lot of gray area there because we all have our perspective and that too will actually color the frequency. But just for argument's sake, let, let's just keep it really simple. 13 being the highest, one being the lowest, start writing down things in your life and what the frequency are. What are you feeling they are? You can't, you can't be wrong. Um, so just put it down and then we'll come back to this and then we'll start accessing this information and then we'll take the third part of the lesson from there because we're going to go from there and extend it into the third part of the frequency laws which is the law of affinity and then you'll start to see how these numerical feeling numbers are translating to events in your life okay everybody thanks for tuning in and um, until I see you next time wishing you high frequencies